Hi, I'm Steve Hammes, and we're here today at the 2014 Albany, New York Auto Show. And look what has come behind me here. It's the all-new 2015 Chevy Tahoe. Steve Martin is here. He's a product communication specialist with General Motors. He's going to talk a little bit about this today and give us some of the features. Steve, tell us what really is new about the all-new Tahoe. Um, everything. When you say all-new, they really decided to make the new Tahoe that thing that would keep everybody within that segment. We found that when we did research, that people who entered the full-size segment didn't want to leave the full-size segment. Once they got their hands on the functionality, the capability, and they had all the options in front of them, they didn't want to leave. So it became pretty important for us to go back and bit by bit, think about how customers use their full-size vehicles and build a Tahoe and Suburban that fits those needs. Um, none of the exterior sheet metal parts are shared with our full-size trucks. Um, we completely took off everything, looked at it differently from a styling standpoint, and surely outfitted it with um, technology and with comforts that were normally found in luxury vehicles, now inside Tahoe and Suburban, which is the new premium. Now, customers don't want their Silverado to look like an SUV, and maybe the people that own the Tahoe don't want their vehicles to look like Silverado, so they have more of a differentiation now. Exactly, that's, that's what we found, is that people who um, bought the full-size SUVs really wanted them and needed them to still perform in that truck capable manner. They still had to have to have the ability to tow their toys, you know, boats, jet skis, other things like that. Um, but at the same time, a lot of families really liked it just to go around town and do the things that people do with any other car. Um, so there was a more streamlined look that went into um, Tahoe and Suburban. And you can see just from the front that it looks drastically different than it did before and definitely more different than our full-size trucks that we have. And to that point of everyday usability, can you talk a little bit about the engine and progress made in regards to fuel economy? Exactly. The, the new line of Ecotech 3 engine that we have for, um, for Suburban and Tahoe is pretty amazing. When you consider um, the different ways that other people are addressing fuel economy, economy we decided to stick with um, our standards, and that's you know, a V8, um, small block V8. And when we did that, the engineers looked at it and they thought, okay, well, when you're driving down the road, you don't need all eight cylinders running on the freeway under light load driving. So they instilled technology that shuts off four of them, so it becomes a V4. So you get great economy when you're driving on the freeway, but at the same time, if you needed to pull that trailer with your toys, you've got that option too. Right. Other things like direct injection, variable, variable valve timing just really helps out bringing you know, all those technologies together make it that Ecotech 3 engine that sort of is That's the pretty best impressive in an overhead valve engine, too. Are those new technologies being applied to an engine that doesn't have the overhead cams is pretty impressive. Right, yeah. Um, and that's, that's why we're really excited to bring it to market. Um, and we think that customers will respond um, greatly to the new added tech. Do you have the mileage numbers on, on a four-wheel drive model? Yeah, four-wheel drive at 16 on the, on the road and 22 on the highway Okay. Um, in four-wheel drive. Um, and, uh, and again, like I said, it can still pull up to 8,400 pounds. So. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Now, I think a lot of people think of the big SUV as kind of a relic of the 90s, and that maybe they have kind of gone out of fashion. What has Chevrolet done to progress the vehicle forward? I think that a lot of people, when they went out to you know, enter that market, it was one of those things where like, I just want the ability to do everything, you know? And that, that thought is pretty, um, it's something that once you try it, you can't live without. And so suddenly people didn't want to have to give up options. And so now we've, we've almost opened up the door more for that way of thinking because now they get the luxury premiums that weren't associated with that market in the first place. Um, things like um, cut and sewn stitch seating in some of our cars. Um, things like um, the different technologies that are now available in luxury vehicles are also available in our standard models. Standard rear view camera, mm -hmm. um, available safety alert seating, which vibrates to let you know That's a great where feature, by the something's way. Something's happening on yeah. the left or the right. I really like it. I do too, <laughs> I do too. Um, and uh, a lot of these different technologies are now available in a Suburban and Tahoe, um, mixed with Chevy MyLink, which is an award-winning infotainment system, um, and, uh, and you just throw in the capability plus the better fuel economy. Again, it's hard for people to say no now when they've been a full-size customer for years and now they have even more options. I think, I think it'll drop people back from the segment who have previously left the segment. 
because it's you know it's better than ever. Now the Tahoe buyer would be somebody who doesn't need the extra length of say the Suburban, right? Right. But talk, talk about the seating options and different configurations that are available in the new Tahoe. They really focused on allowing more space, getting more people in here and presenting people with more options. The way that it's laid out right now, we have the two captain's chairs in the center, um, and then the the third row is a bench seat, obviously, but it folds down 60-40 mm -hmm. um, so that you can provide different configurations if you're moving things around without having to make it too difficult. As engineers were going and they were trying to find really easy solutions for everyday problems, one of the ones that we saw was that when people take these to the grocery store, they take them to Home Depot, they're doing whatever they're doing with it. Um, it, was, uh, it, it could be cumbersome at some times to have to pull cords and things like that to lay down seats. Now it all happens electronically with these switches back here. So Steve, if you're interested in the new Tahoe, tell us about the trim levels available and the pricing. Like the last Tahoe, we have it available in LS, LT, LTZ trims with the option of having um, two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive mm -hmm. um, once you hit LTZ. Um, with the LS, it starts at $44,600, and you can get it optioned all the way up to how this one is at right over seven. With the sweet wheels and everything. Oh, yeah. Right. Very sweet. Excellent. <laughs> that is Steve Martin, Product Communications Specialist for General Motors. I'm Steve Hammes from Drive Time. We'll see you next time.